Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu and I am here this morning for Ruby. Ruby, chapter 6, volume 11. Or, volume 6, chapter 11. Da, da, da. <laughs> um, yeah, the lady in the shoe. So we got a, a, a girl in a Big Mac. And, and... Blake standing off against Adam, and Yang on the way to that battlefield. Oh boy, I am really, 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 really hoping for a a Bumblebee versus Adam. Uh, I don't want to call it a fight. I want to call it a shit kicking. I want I want to see Adam get his shit kicked in. You know what I mean? The guy's a dick, and and I just want to get want to want to see him get destroyed by Bumblebee. You know, the whole, like, star together thing or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could get into that. But we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. If we don't get that fight, <laughs> I will be very sad. If we do get that fight, I will probably be very happy. Anyway, we're going to get right into it. Before we do, show stuff real quick. If you like the video, like the video. If you're not subbed and you want more, this is what I do, so... You could do that, and if you are subbed and you're not getting my videos, then the bell can maybe help with that. If you really like this content, want to support this channel, want to be able to help me get food so that I can convert that food into reaction videos for you, then patreon.com slash is the place to go. You can, you can very literally give me money so that I can use that money to buy food and then convert that food into reaction videos, because this is all I do, and I love it. And I love all of you who are supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into this episode. Uh, again, before we do that, I'm going to make a little disclaimer here. My videos are timer-based on YouTube, and and they're in no way a substitute for going and paying Rooster Teeth for their premium content. They are a supplement, not a substitute. So if you want to watch this video, go and pay Rooster Teeth for their premium content. Ruby is premium first members only for the first week after it airs and then watch this video along with that video using the beep beep timer which will come soon i'm not trying to mess with their copyright or anything i'm not trying to take views away from rooster teeth they deserve every view on their page that they should be getting and and they deserve every dollar of first subscriptions that they should be getting i'll come out with the full version with the video in the video soon enough when they let that happen on saturday I'm a little bit behind on, on uploading those because I'm lazy. <laughs> but uh, I will get this one out on the morning that it airs, and it will not contain Ruby. So if you want to watch Ruby, you're not going to be able to do it here. This is a supplement. Okay. Now, as I said, there will be a beep beep timer. It'll go boop, 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 beep, and on the beep in the green light, that's the same frame that Rooster T starts playing on my screen. So if you want to play along with your own content, that's when you want to do it. Beep beep timer goes here. I will be watching Genlock on the 26th, I want to say, is when it airs. Not sure. But I'll be watching it. Nice. You know, I've noticed a, a, a noticeable huh, lack of um, lack of Williams insert songs in this season. If there's anything that I miss from previous seasons, it's that. Maybe they're just using them more subtly.
Maybe. This is green tea. It's always green tea. And it's in a mason jar because cups are too small. Yes! In a giant mac. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice echo on her voice. Giant boomstick. Oh no, it's a missile. That's not good. The fuck did you just do? Oh, she shot down a missile. <laughs> Who needs SVBMDs? <laughs> Hello. Weiss is an earthbender now? How's that work? Ooh. Yes. How much you want to bet it has anti-personnel weapons? I like this backing track. Simple, but effective. <laughs> huh? Underwater? Probably. Nani? Oh, shit. Hiya. I was just talking about it, and there's an insert song. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Okay. Wait, is this Mirror Mirror f 4? Okay. <laughs> so, classic trope hard light shields are 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 a dust power now. Okay. <laughs> or the legs so that you can hit it. It might as well be though. That's a crow, though. Just an ant. Or an uncle. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Bird transformation powers OP. <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, that's a big cannon.
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nani? <laughs> oh, that's convenient. Feels like feels like somebody has played uh 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 name of game with big monsters. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Looks like a power supply. Indeed. Shield generator. Okay. Whee! Block that. Ooh. Ow. Rightfully? Maria, what you doing? Don't- don't do a sacrifice thing. That would be bad. Don't do that. That's, uh, that's overkill there. Oh, it has missiles. Ah. Oh. Straight into it. All right. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That was pulled straight from Spider-Man. That's awesome. Yeah. The tracking sequence too. Fantastic. Oof. <laughs> Bish, please. Uh, that coming from you. <laughs> that coming from you. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. Shit. Okay, Yang is on the way. Good. 
，啊啊啊！啊哇哦！哈 ，I'm not alone。What？ 哦、oh, ，God， her semblance lets them do that， and I hate it。Yes！ Oh！ <laughs> A triumphant Yang shipped. Yes. Oh, what is this? Holy fuck! Holy fuck! I'm sorry. What? Avoiding hitting his sword. Uh oh. Gonna try for a. Oh, thanks. Nope. Give me some eyes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Everything that I wanted and more. Ah,、uh, do I even need to go through and break down the fight scenes and like why they were fucking amazing? Okay, so first we get we get our first big choreographed like multi-party battle against a big enemy in a while, and it's awesome. Um, and and our first insert song in a while, and it's awesome. Uh. <laughs> So so many creative uses of semblances, so much good stuff here. Some solid tension, tension build and release.、Um, just fighting Cordovan, and then the the star of the show is definitely this fight. Definitely this fight. Ah,、uh, 
with Blake on the back foot, constantly running away, tons of stretch and compress, tons of of uh, of blur and smear. And they're definitely adding it later, adding it after they've done the choreography, and it's fantastic. It's just great. It really works. This whole sequence, fighting in the trees, well, first off, the, the actual left-to-right battle, as she, like, sort of holds her ground and then gives up ground, is fantastic. We hear the explosions, explosion in the distance, right, from the, the Cordovan fight. And then they, they continuously use her semblance to create these little bits of mini-tension, where we're like, she was hit, but she actually wasn't. And it just takes a second for us to register, no, she actually wasn't. Because of course she wasn't. The The fear in her eyes in almost every every frame is fantastic. The weapon uh, transformations are fantastic. This whole sequence here, um, I said it during the reaction, but it feels extremely Spider-Man. Uh, there's one shot in particular where she does, yeah, that. Right? Like, it's got this, this sort of um, lilt to, to the, the motion as she sort of slows down off of just the leap, right? So she's going at just Blake ability to leap speed, and then her, her thingy connects and she yanks it and goes faster. Boom! Fantastic. I love it. Real sense of momentum. And then he comes after her. Jumping through the trees. Whoosh, whoosh. That whole sequence also feels very Spider-Man. Um, I don't know. Spider-Man is the first, the first cinematic character that I've ever seen, like, leap through trees and do, or leap through buildings and whatever, and do poses every time. Um, and Blake is very much doing that here. I'm not saying that it's directly ripped off, but I feel like somebody watched the Spider-Man movies was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Because despite this being a life or death situation and a serious fight, Blake strikes a bunch of poses. <laughs> and they, they did all they could to make every frame of it look really awesome, and it works. This is great. Swing around a, a, a tree branch. Great. That is a scene that's really striking. She pulls her legs back so that his slice doesn't hit, and then the impact on this next scene is amazing. We get this this slow build up and and gathering te tension, and then boom! Woo! Ooh! It's because it's because they her feet collide with him. And then freeze frame. And then he crumples while they're standing while they're staying in the same place. And then he shoots off. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. They they've really made Adam's um motion very whippy and and snappy. I think it has to do with the the lower number of frames in between his his motions and the the quality of the sort of the stretch frames. I don't know. I don't know how they did it, but it works. Ah. And then we get this uh, this prolonged sequence of semblance versus semblance stuff. Adam does some stuff that's almost Blake semblance esque. Um, he does some, yeah. Oh, did she just catch his blade? Yeah. Nice. <sighs> Blah. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Yeah, no. You're a coward. You're all the things that you say you are. 
and you are delusional. But we find out this thing, he's been branded, and he feels real bad about it. Oh, evil Zuko. Pretty cool. Uh, there were a lot of theories going around about what was going on with Adam's eyes, and now they can all be put to rest. He's just been branded. It appears his left eye still works. This little scene... Mmm, it's great. It lets us as the audience know that Yang is coming, because we've been waiting for it, and then it lets us know that Blake knows that Yang is coming, and her her position in this fight has just changed, right? She has backup on the way. The point is to stall. Lovely. And as soon as he says this line, we know that the I'm not alone is coming, and man, did they deliver. Oh, buddy. And semblance. Yep. Nay. I'm not alone. Doesn't get much better than that. And we hit him with a motorcycle. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. Oof. We've lost the bike, though. That sucks. Worth it. Definitely worth it. And then we get another prolonged fight sequence <laughs> this time yang style which is very different very upfront see this as he 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 goes through and like leaves after images of himself behind is that is that the way his semblance functions i don't know and then everything turning black as he uses it that we've seen before Though before, it could have been just a stylistic choice. Now we know that it's actually, definitely his semblance. Lots of rotating shots. This this little sequence of the three slashes feels like a video game move. Actually, a lot of these feel like video game moves. I, they, they do have a tie-in game, so... Eh. Eh. They can self-plagiarize. It's fine. Um, but this this little slash, slash, slash... Feels like something that you would push one button and then do that, you know? It's like, bam, bam, bam. It's pretty cool. Ho -ho! And that feels like a fighting game combo, you know? Leading into a Shoryuken, of course. Why isn't there a Ruby hybrid fighting game? By hybrid, I mean I mean uh, two-dimensional plane, but 3D models. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful! Yeah, you just gave him a lot of ammo. And he zips around for a while. I'm not clear on, on the the parameters of his semblance. I thought it just allowed him to release big ol' sword blast things when he charges up, but it seems to allow him to significantly increase his speed and stuff, too. I don't know. Sends it back when he's ready. Yeah, it's just like yours, except he doesn't have to feel it. Fits his character. Gets it. Yeah, yeah. Outrage for damage dealt not to him. Yeah. Oof. They did a really good job of showing us every time that Adam has charged up his blade and making it a making it a cool thing. Then he uses it. She blocks it like a badass. I was actually expecting her to take it and use it to fight him back, you know? And then we get this, and, uh, shippers go wild. <laughs> well, this was a fun episode. I want to look up that game. What What is that game? Um, video game, Titans Kill. No, no, no. No, not not attack on Titan.
kill giant monsters. Titans? Shadow of the Colossus. That's what it is. They're colossi, not titans. Yeah, so the whole the whole giant robot thing feels like it is straight out of Shadow of the Colossus, which if you haven't played, you should probably go and play. You can probably I think you can get it as a, a ROM for PS whatever. Um and play it there. But uh really great game. <laughs> The whole sequence felt like that. It felt like something out of a, a video game focused on fighting giant things. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And the whole second fight felt very gamey. In a good way. In a good way. With all the, the oomph and the, the, the power and the... Yeah, it felt really good. Good sequence of fights. Some great lines in there. An insert song. Ah. Also, there was... um. Uh, there was a sequence, and I think it was, it was one of Yang's songs. Done, done differently. I don't think it was I Burn. It was I Burn, wasn't it? I don't know. Anyway, it, it started playing when she arrived at the place, and it was pretty good. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. This was awesome. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.